Have you ever tried to buy Dogecoin, Cardano on Coinbase but have been unable to find them? Hi, this is Mosh. Today I'm going to talk through how to use Binance for beginners and how to buy altcoins using Binance and how you can save 20% off on fees using Binance. So make sure you stick around to the end. Firstly, who are Binance? They're a global crypto exchange where you can buy, sell and trade cryptocurrencies. Binance are very well known, they're secure and safe. And the key thing, it has a lot more coins, especially the altcoins over Coinbase. Coinbase is the most popular one, but Binance does come second because it allows you to do a lot more than what you can do on Coinbase. So the first thing you need to do is go and download the mobile app. Once you've downloaded the app, you need to fill in your details. They'll require your name, your age, and your bank account details. One thing that's important to know, if you want to buy, I think more than 300 pounds worth, you have to verify your account. Now to verify your account and also to have access to faster payments, you have to upload your passport and you have to upload a picture of yourself using their app. And it only takes a couple of hours to get verified. So it's definitely worth doing that. Just bear in mind the card that you first use is gonna be used for deposits and withdrawals. So let's jump into the app. Now, one key thing is what you wanna do is you wanna to go to the uh, top left-hand corner where you see the profile icon and you want to turn on Binance Lite. Currently it's on Binance Pro. Binance Lite is made for beginners and the user interface is really, really simple. Whereas Binance Pro is something that you gotta get used to. Binance Lite is for basic buying and selling crypto. Whereas a pro version, you can do futures trading and you can do leverage trading as well. As you can see, the first page you'll come across is the market. So all the coins they have to offer and they do a nice little thing where they put it in market cap order. So you can see Bitcoin is at the top of the list with the most market cap. You can click onto a coin. So if I go in Cardano, okay, it's gonna give you a graph. You can do one hour, daily, weekly, monthly. And if you scroll down, it tells you a bit about that crypto. So about Cardano, it gives you a bit of information. Okay, and the cool thing it does as well, it gives you any news updates. So what have people been saying about Cardano recently on the news? And as you can see, they have lots and lots of coins, especially those altcoins that you can't find on Coinbase. Before you buy any crypto, you have to deposit money into the account. And it's a very, very simple process. All you have to do is press that wallet symbol. It's gonna take you to this page. Now you wanna press deposit. Now you wanna do fiat currency, okay? The Great British Pound is a fiat currency. If you're somewhere in Europe, you're using the Euro. If you're in America, you're using the dollar. So you wanna search for GBP, okay? And it comes up. Now you've got two options. You can either do a bank transfer, but that will charge you 1.8% fee, or you can do something called faster payments, which is 0% fee. Ideally, that's what you want to do, faster payments, because there is no fees attached to it. However, to do faster payments, you have to make sure you've uploaded your passport and took a picture of yourself so they can verify your account. So you click on, let's say, faster payments, and you put in the amount that you want to put in. So let's say I want to put in 20 pounds. You can see there's actually no transaction fee because it is a faster payment. You press continue, confirm. Once you've deposited money into your account, this is when you can actually buy your first cryptocurrency. Or if it's not your first, you can buy the altcoins. So you press the button in the middle and it'll come up with a couple of options, buy, sell, deposit, and convert. Obviously we wanna buy initially. So you buy and you pick the crypto that you want. So let's say I wanna buy some Dogecoin, okay? Now again, here you have two options. You can either specify the amount of Dogecoins you wanna buy. So let's say I wanna buy 20 pounds worth. I put 20 in, or you can press this button here and specify the amount of Doge coins you wanna buy. So if I put 500 Doge coins, okay, buy Doge, you can see that it comes up to around 25 pounds, 87 pence. They'll also give you a time limit to confirm that order so they can get you the best price or as close to the best price as possible. Now you can also use the same button to sell your cryptocurrency. So all you have to do, is press a button, go to sell crypto, find the crypto that you wanna sell. Let's say I've got some ADA, um, I wanna sell some ADA and you specify the amount of ADA. So I wanna sell 20 ADA, then you press sell ADA and that's that done. Bear in mind, they will charge a small fee for buying and selling your crypto. If you want to save 20% on your fees, all you have to do 
is sign up using my link in the box below and you can save 20% off fees. So definitely go do that. Now, another thing I want to show you guys is um, when it comes to withdrawing money out. So let's say you've sold your cryptocurrency. You, hopefully you made a nice profit and you'll withdraw your money out. So you go to withdraw. You want to withdraw it as fiat GBP because you want pounds back into your bank account. Your bank account is not going to accept you depositing crypto into it just yet. So you click on it. Now you have two options. You have faster payments, which is basically a bank transfer and they charge £1.50 per transaction. Or you can transfer the money back into your bank account, but that will be a 1% fee. If you're withdrawing out £1,000, that's going to be £10 using the bank card method. Whereas the faster payments method, all you'll be paying is £1.50. So all you have to do is put in the amount that you want to withdraw, let's say £500. Obviously, I don't have £500 in GBP available, but if I did, then that would come up. And if I do the faster payment me method, it will charge me £1.50. The bank card method is going to be 1.5% of £500. And remember, if you found something useful in my video, please go like it because apparently that helps with the YouTube algorithm. I'm gonna very quickly show you the pro version and what you can do on it, but I'm gonna do a whole other video just on the pro because there is a lot to cover. And as I said, this is a basic beginner's guide to Binance. So you go on the profile icon and you change it from Binance Lite to Binance Pro and you can see that change taking place. As you can see, there's a lot going on here. This is why I recommend if you're new to it to use Binance Lite first, get comfortable with it. And I will do another video in the future on Binance Pro. So you can do trades, you can trade futures, okay? You can do leverage trading as well. So there's so much you can do on the Pro version. There's two cryptocurrencies I'm really bullish on which is Bitcoin and ADA. I hold my Bitcoin and Coinbase, specifically Coinbase Pro, because the fees are very, very low. It's the most well-known global exchange and it's pretty secure. And Coinbase are going to do an IPO this week as well. So that will give the market a bit more confidence in Coinbase. Now, if you want free $10 worth of Bitcoin, all you have to do is sign up using my link below. You have to buy a minimum of $100 worth of Bitcoin to get $10 worth of Bitcoin for free. So again, that's another option for you guys to do. Lastly, I'm not a financial advisor. And remember, cryptocurrency is very, very volatile. I bought Bitcoin around £17,000 around December time. And you can see now it's at around £44,000. So you've got to be very careful in the crypto market.